is my refuge from the storms of this world your presence is my refuge your presence is my refuge so I say to my soul
Oh, I have the mind of Christ. And I have the mind of Christ. 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 Come and make my heart a home for you. Come and make my thoughts your own. Come and make. rising up to comfort Zion. Oh, he is rising up. Where are your accusers? Jerusalem, the Lord your God has silenced. rising up to comfort Zion, to defend his beloved one. Where are your accusers, Jerusalem? The Lord your God has silenced them. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. Oh, they flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. And barrenness your leaving. We're restoring Eden, cause he has brought me freedom. I release my song, in barrenness you're leaving. He's restoring Eden, he has brought me freedom. I release my song, barrenness you're leaving. Cause we're restoring Eden He has brought me freedom I release my song Oh barrenness you're leaving We're restoring Eden 
he has brought me freedom I release my soul oh, he's brought freedom 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 he's brought freedom freedom he's brought freedom freedom where the spirit of the lord is and where the spirit of the lord is Your love. 
it's you it's always been you and your love is coming for me rescuing my heart your love is coming It's only your love that rescues my heart from disease. It's only your love that rescues my heart. Oh, it's only your love rescuing my heart day after day, time and again. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Songs of deliverance come. We laugh as enemies run. They flee before my God. Spirit of the Lord is where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom, freedom, freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, freedom, freedom. Where the Spirit the spirit of the Lord is, is freedom, freedom. Where the spirit of the Lord is, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, freedom, freedom. I'm breaking every agreement that I've made with lies. I break every agreement and I align myself, align my heart, align my mind with the truth in Christ. by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, I am healed, delivered, and saved. Thought to you, oh Christ. Submit.
Commit every thought to your Lordship And every emotion Every misunderstanding And every disappointment Submit to you Oh, have it all Take it all Won't you have it all Won't you take it all Cause you're the only one who gets it You're the only one who sees the end from the beginning And you're the only one who sees the whole picture And has patience to walk me through the storm And you're the only one You're the only one You're the only one So I submit every thought to you The rawest of thoughts of heart, my hardness of heart, won't you make this heart flesh again, won't you make this heart one of flesh again? Bowing here, I find my rest. Is without you, I fall apart, and you're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need. Oh God. 
righteousness, oh God, how I need you. So teach my soul to rise to you when temptation comes my way. And when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. So teach my song to rise to you. temptation comes my way and when I cannot stand I'll fall on you Jesus you're my hope and stay when I cannot stand I'll fall on you it's Jesus you're my hope and Jesus, you're my hope and say, oh, and Lord, I need you, oh, I need you, every hour I need you, my one defense, my right. you weren't by my side and there wasn't a day that you let me fall in all of my life your love has been true in all of my life I will worship you there wasn't a day that you weren't by my side there wasn't a day that you let me fall in all of my life your love has been true with all of my life I will worship you there wasn't a day that you weren't by my side there wasn't a day that you let me fall when all of my life your love has been true with all of my life I will worship
Promises are still yes and amen. And you will fulfill them. Because no word returns to you void. But each one will accomplish your will. promise you've spoken you will fulfill it's who you are it's just who you are it's who you are oh it's who you are it's who Father, we thank you so much for your presence, for calling us here into election, God, for predestining us into salvation, that it's by grace, through faith, not by our own doing, but grace is the gift of God. And we thank you so much for saving us and revealing yourself to us that by grace we can be called sons of God. Thank you, Father, for counting us worthy to be a part of your family. Thank you for who you are, God, for showing us your goodness, God. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, tonight is an intercessory watch. Um, and this month we have been praying for Israel. Uh, and at K1, we are faithful to pray for uh, the nation of Israel um, in honor of God's word, um, that uh, God's heart for Israel and his promises to Israel are still true. And um, so we are faithful to, um, to catch on to God's heart for this nation and to continue to pray for this nation. Um, God considers Israel as a son, and um, we, are, we have been grafted into um, this family. Um, and so Israel is our brother. And so as a family of God, we, um, we want to continue to pray for our brothers. So if you would uh, turn with me to Hosea chapter 14, um, we're going to be uh, reading through the passage of Scripture um, in parts. And then uh, by inspiration of the scripture, we're going to uh, pray for Israel and intercede for our brothers and um, sing unto the Lord in prayer. Again, that's Hosea 
chapter 14. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words and return to the Lord and say to him, take away all iniquity except what is good, and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses. And we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you, the orphan finds mercy. Father, you say, return, O Israel. Return to the Lord your God. You are not distant, and your love is unconditional. And there is no fear in your love. Father, your arms are open wide to Israel. And it's your heart that Israel would return back to you, Lord. And so we pray for every person in Israel and the diaspora Jews, Father, that they would hear your heart, God, calling out to them, return, O Israel. And Father, we echo your words, Lord, and we also pray and prophesy, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. And Father, we ask that there would be a revelation of your compassion, your quickness to forgive. You're so merciful, God. You don't count our iniquities against us, but you're ready to forgive and to clean, cleanse, and to heal. And so we say, take away all iniquity in Israel, God, that their hearts may be pure to know you, that none of us can know you or understand you or be in relationship with you apart from grace, God. And so we ask for a revelation, God, that by your hand and by your compassion, God, you would take away iniquity and give revelation of your goodness, God, in Israel. And Father, in this scripture, we see that you make yourself known as a covenant keeper. That even when we break covenant, God, you are faithful to keep it. And this is who you are, God. That you want Israel to come back and to keep the vows that she has made with you long ago. That you kept with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you passed on all the way down to Jesus that you keep your vows and your vows are still good to Israel, God. Your vow with Israel that she would not trust in another God and have no idols before her, but to trust in you alone, God. And Father, in those areas, in the hearts of the people of Israel, God, that has fallen into unbelief or has hardened, Father, we ask for a revelation of repentance, God for a culture of repentance, Lord. Father, because you are gracious, Lord, and you are ready to receive, God, and that you don't remember our sins, Father, because you are faithful to forgive, Lord. And even the orphan who is most far off, lost and hopeless, finds mercy in you, God. But Israel is not an orphan, Lord. You love her and she is she belongs to you, God. You made her in your love, Lord. And so in your compassion, God, Father, we ask that you would reveal yourself again and again, God, that she would return to you, Lord. Return, O Israel, for the Lord God is for you. His covenant remains. Return, O Israel, for the Lord God is for you. His covenant remains. 
slow to anger and rich in love quick to forgive and rich in love slow to anger and rich in love quick to forgive and rich in love slow to anger and rich in love quick to forgive and rich in love slow to anger and rich in love quick to forgive and rich in love slow to anger and rich in love quick to forgive and rich in love it's rich in love so rich in Forgiven. 
Verse 4, I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall take root like the trees of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out his beauty shall be like the olive and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish like the grain. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Father, when you heal God, it is complete. It is never lacking to wash away any sin. And no sin is too hard for you to forgive. May Israel's past sins, though they are like scarlet, be made white as snow. God, thank you for loving so freely, God. Father, and we ask that your presence would be so evident over Israel, like the morning dew that covers all of the land, that your presence and your glory would be over the land, and that your love would come and heal the hearts of the people, and would heal their land and bring peace and revelation of who you are. God, we want to see this scripture come to pass, that Israel will blossom like the lily, and her roots will go deep into the ground like the strong trees of Lebanon, and the shoots will spread out in unity, and its beauty will be unparalleled, God, and that its fragrance will be like your glory, God, that covers the earth, Lord. Father, and that they will come and return to dwell beneath your shadow and find peace and rest. That you alone brings her safety. That you are her strength, God. God, thank you that your love brings healing. It covers over our wounds. It covers over all of our sin. And it washes us clean. That when you love freely, God, it means that you have no hesitation. You don't hold back anything, God. 
we thank you, God, for this promise. And God, we know that the healing has come, that the blood was shed on the altar. You say, I will heal their apostasy. I will love them freely. Where there was no way for healing, God, you made a way by slaying your own son, Jesus Christ, to pay the price. Thank you, Lord, for making a way for our healing, that Israel can come to the saving grace, that Israel doesn't have to remain far away in fear of condemnation, fear of breaking the law, that she may know that the Lord is good and faithful and come into the temple courts in rejoicing, God, and receive of your abundant grace because a way has been made for them. And we thank you for this precious message. And we pray that it will cover the land of Israel. We thank you, God.
Glorious inheritance. 
Verse 8, O oh, Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumble in them. O Ephraim, O Judah, O Israel, return to the Lord your God and have nothing more to do with idols. And look upon the Lord who answers you and looks after you. And he has not forgotten you whom he created from before the foundations of the world. He made you in love and he is faithful to the end to restore you, to love you, and to marry you in the end. Father, we thank you that we can hide your word in our heart so that we may know you and not sin against you. We thank you, God, for a revelation of who you are. You say that you are an evergreen cypress and that from you, comes our fruit, the fruit of Israel and the fruit of your believers, that the everlasting, infinite God who has no limits, who is incomprehensible, there is no one like you, and yet you call yourself like an evergreen cypress tree and that when we are connected to you, we are like your fruit. We are like the fruitfulness of your glory, that we're connected to you, that we belong to you. God, you're so humble and generous and kind and compassionate. And so God, we ask, that every form of idolatry would be washed out of Israel. That idolatry and worship of God would be so clearly distinguished as night is from day. We thank you, God, for your righteousness. And we ask for a generation of priests and prophets in Israel, a generation who is wise, that they can understand these things a generation that is discerning. Their hearts are discerning of your word that they may know you, God, and that they may know your ways, Lord, that they may be upright in all of their ways, God, and walk in your word, Lord, and have a discerning heart and be able to discern the times, God. And they would not walk in darkness, but they would be a light to their generation a generation of priests and prophets in Israel, that they may prophesy the truth of your gospel, God, and that they may know your true heart, that your heart is for them to return, that you are not far, but your arms are wide open, and that they would speak this truth from the mountaintops, that everyone may hear and return to the Lord.
want you to behold me not just to serve me I want you with me I want you to behold me and not just to serve me hero is right I just want to be where you are I just want to be near your heart There is nothing like your love There is nothing like your love I just want to be where you are And I just want to be near your heart There is nothing like your love There is nothing like your love
just want to be where you are and I just want to be near your heart there is nothing like your love there is nothing Father, I thank you for drawing us close into a relationship with you. Like you would a son and a friend, you draw us close and you make us one with you, God. Thank you for this abundant grace, God, that we're, we have been made righteous to stand before you simply by your grace. It's a gift of God. Thank you, Father, for showing us your heart for Israel, for your son, that we can love the things that you love and pray and ask for the things that you care about, God, that you care about Israel, that you love Israel. God, and thank you for making your will known to us, that you um, are faithful to your covenant and that we can pray and believe according to your word, God, that you're faithful to your word. So thank you for letting us um, share your heart with you, God, and intercede for the nation of Israel, Lord. And what a privilege and an honor uh, it is, God, to um, partner with you in this, God, in your plan. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. At this time, we will transition into a time of um, intercession with prayer points. This month, we have been praying for the nation of Israel. Um, so uh, if you want to follow along with me, the prayer points will be on the slide. And um, I will pray, and you can put your faith with mine, and we can pray together for the nation of Israel. Father, we thank you for your word to always rejoice, to never cease rejoicing, God, because you know that it brings healing, it increases faith, and it strengthens our bond with you. Father, we ask that in every corner of the nation of Israel and from every mouth, that everywhere it will be filled with rejoicing in the Lord that the streets will be filled with rejoicing, just as when David danced without shame in front of all of Israel, that there would be joy unto you, God. There would be singing and dancing and rejoicing in houses, that people's mouths would be filled with rejoicing and never ceasing. And we pray that this joy of the Lord in the hearts of the people would be Israel's strength, for every matter, God. It would bring strength to them to go to work every day, to study hard, to hope for a future, for peace with its neighbors, that the joy of the Lord would be Israel's strength. And we pray that all the rejoicing, God, the rejoicing unto you, the rejoicing because they are chosen, the rejoicing because they bear the image and likeness of God. All that rejoicing unto you, God, 
would wash away all fear and anxiety in the land. It would bring healing to relationships. It would bring restoration to the hearts of the people. We ask, Father, that this rejoicing, Father, as your commandment says to rejoice always, that the rejoicing, Father, would bring a revelation of who you are. It would bring great healing and restoration in the land, God. Let's pray.
shall reap with joy what you've sown in tears. You shall reap with joy what you've sown in tears. You shall reap with joy. You shall reap with joy. Pray without ceasing. God, you love hearing our voice. You never get tired of hearing us pray to you, pour out our heart to you, to seek you, and to ask you. God, we thank you for this word, to pray without ceasing, God. And we pray this for the nation of Israel, that according to 1 Thessalonians 5.17, that we can pray without ceasing and that Israel would be a nation that prays without ceasing. So we prophesy that there would be a movement of prayer that will flood and fill the land. Not just prayer meetings or prayer movements or programs, but a culture of prayer where everything begins and ends with prayer, that they cover everything in prayer and they go to you for everything in prayer, God. We thank you, Father, that you never tire of us coming to you, God. We thank you, God, for this word, pray without ceasing. We thank you that we can ask you for things, God. We can ask that Israel would be a nation that continues to pray, Father, and just sets a culture of prayer, God. We thank you, Father, that this prayer would bring unity in the nation of Israel, that where there is division, and where there is bitterness and unforgiveness, those walls would break, God. That there would be unity among the brethren, God. That there would be forgiveness, Lord. Forgiveness of debt, forgiveness of wrongdoing. There would be forgiveness and healing and unity as people gather to pray, God. And that revival would come, Lord. That healing would come, God. And that people's eyes would be opened, that when, God, you you give miracles, God, when you extend your hand in power and in love, God, that people's eyes would be open to the answered prayers, God. That people, that, that the streets would be filled with rejoicing when prayers are answered. And that people's eyes would see and their hearts would be an understanding that God is good and that you answer prayers and that you love it when your people come in prayer, God. And so we ask, God, that the streets would be filled, that homes would be filled with praying people, that people would come together in unity to pray, God, and to seek you, God, and that they would continue to pray even when they don't see the answers that they are seeking, God, when they are unsure, Lord, that they will not cease praying, Lord. And we pray that Christians all around the world would have a heart to pray for Israel to receive the gospel. That, Father, that Christians would unite to pray for Israel, God, to love Israel, and to be hopeful for the gospel of Jesus Christ, the message of the covenant of grace to be extended to Israel, Lord. Let's pray.
Father, we give thanks in all circumstances. We thank you, God, that we can give thanks and be thankful always because you are faithful, that we never have to fall into hopelessness or let our heart be disheartened because you are faithful. And we can always be thankful in every circumstance for your goodness never changes. We thank you and we prophesy a heart of thankfulness in Israel, God. That hearts would be full of thankfulness, eyes that are locked on you, God, who are hopeful and looking to you, Father, that in every circumstance, they never cease to be thankful. They never cease to have hope in you, God. And that they turn to the word to remind themselves, to remember that your character is always good that they have every reason to be thankful in you, God. And that it would be in response, Lord, to your goodness, God. That hearts will remember the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That you never break your covenant, God. That your thankfulness, that your goodness goes on and on and on. And that we can always be thankful, God. And we pray that this thankfulness will break chains of past regrets of guilt, of shame from sin. It would break the chain of indifference in the hearts of the people, that it would break every chain that the enemy has tried to put around them, God, to hold them back from being thankful, from hold them back from seeking God, that thankfulness would win over the attacks of the enemy, that a heart of thankfulness would prevail over the works of the enemy, God, that you are faithful to your word. And we thank you, God, that your thankfulness protects the hearts and minds of the people. That, Father, that your word would be in their heart, God, it would protect them, Lord, and it would stir up thankfulness in their heart. It would protect them, Father, from all the works of the enemy, God, that they are safe and sound in who you are, God, that you are their provider, their protector, that they can always be thankful in every circumstance, God, that no matter how hard the circumstance looks, Father, that no matter what the, war, the news says or what's going on around their borders, God, that no matter how many, um, no matter how violent or hopeless the situation may seem, that, Father, their hearts can always be thankful and that thankfulness will protect their hearts and their minds from hopelessness and discouragement. Let's pray.
Father, we thank you for salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that Jesus Christ came 2,000 years ago to bring us hope, that you didn't leave us to be children of disobedience and sons of wrath, but you made a way for us to obtain salvation. We thank you for this grace, God. We thank you for this good news, God, that this good news would reach Israel. Father, we prophesy, Father, for, for a generation that is so hungry for you, that seeks in your word, God, the truth of the Messiah. Jesus, Jesus said that when that the people would know him by his words, that those words are from the Father, and that he drew from Old Testament scripture. And so we ask God for a revelation of what the scripture points to, that it points to Jesus Christ. And we pray that hearts would be excited in Israel for God's salvation as God promised in his word that there would be an excitement, an expectation, and a hunger to know the truth of the Messiah, and that the scripture would speak for itself, God, that the testimony of Jesus is in the word of God, and that it would be revealed to Israel. And we pray, Father, for the hearts of the people, that their hearts would be like the fertile ground, just so ready to soak in the truth God, so hungry for you, Lord. Father, that the word would be made plain to their eyes. There would be people of understanding, God, that you are merciful and that you gave us Jesus Christ. We thank you for the gospel, Lord, for the precious gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, and we pray that this word would be heard all over Israel and that hearts would be fertile soil to receive it, Lord. Let's pray.
Father, we thank you for the opportunity to connect with your heart, to know you deeper, to share um, just the grace, the opportunity, the privilege, um, the honor to know your heart, God, and to pray for the things that you care about, God. Thank you for giving us a love for our brother Israel. God, and we thank you for the Holy Spirit that you teach us how to pray for Israel, how to love Israel, God, how to believe, um, and really uh, from the word of God to really stand firm and believe in your promises and know that, God, you're faithful to the end. God, you're so compassionate and kind and slow to anger. And we thank you so much, God, for bringing us in into your heart to pray and to be together with you, God. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.